Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah's J Man Monero with J Man Speaks and Good Morning NAR. I'm here with my co anchor women. This is like a thorn between two roses. 
Uh, go ahead, ladies, introduce yourselves as if they don't know you already. What's cracking this morning? I'm your girl, Marky Lemons Rao, coming to you from the Chicago South Side. <laughs> whoop, whoop. And I am Carrie Little coming to you in Illinois, Western suburbs, not Chicago, <laughs> but West Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> More like Iowa. <laughs> I'm, I know people, as soon as I say West Chicago, they're like, yeah, I know the West side. I'm like, no, that's where my husband grew up. Nah. Uh, well, and I guess this is Jeremiah's J. Mamanero, and I'm from Rochester, New York, which is between Buffalo and Syracuse. Uh, this is filmed live in front of a virtual studio audience. So let's give them a round of applause. Oh, uh, well, that's what's up. Yeah, so... <laughs> Let's let's kind of get started with some witty banter. What do you think? Um, how was how did your day go yesterday, ladies? I mean, mine was spectacular. Mine was spectacular. I don't think too. I got under my desk. You didn't? I don't think so. I think I sat here all day. I, well, you know what? Here, wait. If there are some things I cannot share live, but I'll share with you when this call, when we're done with our newscast. Um, I, all I'm just gonna say is I'm married, and when you work from home. My husband thinks I'm supposed to cook lunch and dinner, so I had to get up and cook lunch. Oh, see, Steve bought yeah. a tomahawk okay. so steak yesterday. We grilled outside. He actually purchased two, and somehow late last night he decided he should cook the other one uh, for today. And so he cooked dinner, uh, but he's the cook of the house. I am the least least likely person to cook in my house, but I'm the one with the undergrad degree in hospitality management. Huh. And I'm, I'm the official eater in my household. So that's <laughs> all I do. Okay. Sometimes the kids be like, dad, make me some cereal. But even, even then it's a stretch. It's no milk, no milk. <laughs> well, yesterday was a full day though, right? So we, we started our day with Brian Buffini. We ended with a DJ challenge and bingo. Like I really felt like I had been all over the world because we knew that Brian Buffini was coming out of California. Mm -hmm. We knew that we were playing bingo in New York. And then I don't know where the D oh, the DJs, I actually went to go follow them. They were from three different locations. Yeah, one from three Chicago, different locations. Yeah. one from New York and one from somewhere else. Did you was, guys catch the magician at all? No, oh, I, I had a networking round table. The magician. Was he good? Oh, oh, I, I was like, how do you do that? You know, and you would think that, you know, when you watch on television or virtually, I mean, it, it was it was amazing just to watch. And they, he had pulled people in who had sent him a text message. OK. And I was like, yeah, that, it was a great way um, to kind of do lunch yeah. and get entertained. So because yeah, I was nice thinking time. like. Like I could do some magic with my green screen <laughs> and it'll look spectacular, but That's all I got. it's not real magic. Like, look at this, watch it disappear. Uh, let's, let's shout out to some of the people who are watching. We got princess Gonzalez, uh, Joe, princess Gonzalez, first time attendee. Shout out to her. Jeffrey Scott Stanton. We got Danette O'Neill. We got Flo Miller Jenkins. We got Chantel Franklin. You know, thanks for tuning in everybody. Uh, we appreciate We've got the Ramona support. from here in Illinois. Who else do we have? Let's see. Let me let me look at my feed. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm not getting to it, but go ahead. And yeah, well, look, already people have shared. Um, we're streaming in at least six different locations. So thank you, everyone that is watching today. Syndicated worldwide here in our world headquarters in Illinois and New York. We're in the same virtual <laughs> studio. It's quite amazing, folks. Uh, but you know what I but I wanted to say I was telling I was talking to the ladies before we started. Like, like I, I'm a guy who I can fall asleep when it's time to go to bed. It's like three, two, one, and I'm out. But yesterday when I went to bed, I was so excited about today, right? I was like, man, I just wanted to like if I could just click go like this and wake up and be today already so we could do good morning NAR and then we could hit the sessions and we could do everything. I just, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. I, I man, I got enough energy as it is. So when I get excited, it's like, yo, let's go. It's intense. Already. It's A D H H H H H D. <laughs> H -H -H -D. And let me say this for those of you that are, are that did tune in. Cause I know I got about 20 people over here on Facebook and I have a few on YouTube and Twitter, please in the feed, tell us where you are watching from. Give us your state, give us your city. And if you're watching us from outside of the country, we right. want to know. And if you're a first time attendee, give you that first time yes. attendee love. 
Right. And love please feel free to share. We love, love we love first time attendees. Please feel free. Definitely take our photos. We'll smile. Hashtag good morning NAR <laughs> and hashtag NAR annual. And make sure you tag us because we are doing one giveaway a day and we already know the winner, but you got to stay tuned because we won't do that until the end. Not until the end. So we got a lot of stuff to cover today. Yes. One, we have to announce a winner for our competition. That's going to be a, dr a drum roll. We won't do that yet. Hey, you got to stay on for the whole broadcast. And mm -hmm. then uh, we we learned a lot yesterday, guys. Like there were a lot of great tips. However, we stated that we were only going to focus on implementing a few things. And I think we all attended one session together. And that would be the Brian Buffini. Mm -hmm. What did you guys learn from Mr. Brian Buffini? Carrie, you want to go? I'll first? go first. I would yeah. say there are things we we already know, and I, and I know right now I have a lot of um, new realtors that follow me on Instagram, mm -hmm. um, and we and he said this, and we know this as seasoned real estate agents. We have done a really bad job as seasoned real estate agents, and we let everyone we make real estate look seasoned. easier than it is. <laughs> And when he gave the statistic that um, the first, when you're in business for the first two years, the average income is $9,800. And I was like, whew, I'm broke. I'm going to drive for Uber. So when I heard that statistic and then he gave some of his tips, I really thought about how it is really important for you to really understand data because he talked about data to yeah, really sure. understand your market. Um, and to build a successful bu uh, business and put together your standards of practice, everything you're going to do every single day. So, yeah, and Marky, I know you have some some great ideas from what he talked about yesterday. Well, you know what he said? Agents are isolated and less skilled. And real estate historically is that industry that people come into either as a second job or for retirement. And what I'm noticing is Agents who are coming in who had previous occupations, if they've never had entrepreneurship training, if they don't have any tech skills, they are hurting because they don't understand that this is a business. It's about entrepreneurship. They don't have any tech skills. And now you're isolated. So agents uh, are isolated and less skilled. But the way that he correlated that was the fact that we in the past uh, razor sales are down substantially. Substantially, the lowest we had in the years lowest or so. razor sales, right? In like the history of razors, but then bra sales are also down twenty percent. So <laughs> let it all hang out. Let it all wait, hang wait, wait, out. Wait, wait. So let, let no, no, let's paint the clear picture, right? So that means that I have a man who's not shaven, not upkept, right, and a woman who got things flinging all around the place, right? <laughs> so what skill set? That person's not even in the frame of mind, right? to learn something new because they don't even care about self. So with that being said, what I want to implement with my agents is that he said, focus on referrals. And I think everyone, well, I know you two know that I've earned at least one referral check every single week since Friday, March the 13th, one week, five. And what he said, we should focus on regions. What the numbers show is that a lot of people are leaving Chicago, they're going to Indiana, but they're actually going to Indianapolis, right? To a, a smaller city um, where life is not as complicated. Let's go that route. So now I need to start building from Illinois, those referral networks with licensees in Indiana, focusing on the Indianapolis area. And he had a map. And he showed how we're coming from Chicago to Indianapolis, but then San Francisco and L.A. to Phoenix. And he showed a few hot pockets. But the uh, number one place right now in growth is Nashville, Tennessee. So you want to keep that in mind. But go buy a razor. Get yourself a good bra. Right. So that you can <laughs> put the bangs in the air so that you can get, get to the right frame of mind. Right. I, yeah, you know what? When I think about not shaving, when I see my husband, you just don't care. Or if you get up and this is Saturday, that's like a Saturday, Sunday morning. Uh, I'm just not going to wear a bra. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm always wear a bra. I'm going to put on a bra even if I don't brush my teeth. But that's just how I was brought up, guys. I just hate you to know well, that. Let, let me just... <laughs> let me just <laughs> 
pig, <laughs> piggyback on that real quick because that was the same thing that I thought, man. Like these guys are walking around with these big. Like I, I haven't shaved in a week. I doesn't like I. I'm not the guy that's buying all those razors. I got the, I got a baby face. But when when I see that or I hear that, I think opportunity, right? For those for those agents who are listening to us now, who I feel like are the cream of the crop, who are going to the to the conference, they're attending sessions. You should you should hear that and go, man. There is incredible opportunity for us to exponentially separate ourselves from the comp competition. Because they, they are sitting at home and they're going, this is going to end soon. They've been doing that for eight months with their head in the sand while we're, we're out here creating content. We're making videos. We're building relationships. We're getting referrals every week. I mean, it's, 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 you got to see this as an opportunity because there's, you know, in, in, in times of, of great turmoil, there's always opportunity. You just got to, got to look for it. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing, and I don't know, um, J man, what, what else you got out of it but the, the big thing was is the he, he talked about building the local network the state network and uh, regional and national yeah. so people are moving you know instead of moving 30 minutes from work or an hour from work they're they're coming nice. um two hours from work and they're buying bigger so and this is true we all looked at the data the next generation was buying the smaller house because they wanted to live eat and travel Right. They wanted to be able to um, live near shopping. They wanted to be able to live near universities. But people are moving out and they're buying the bigger house and they're converting. What did he say? You don't need a five bedroom house. You need a five office house because right. you have to put kids in the classroom. Right. You got to you right. have to have a, a house. I mean, if you could see my house, I'm in my own office, but my husband's like, I'm not going in your office. So we have literally taken a closet and it's being renovated for Mark's office and he's trying to figure out how to put a 40 inch TV in this closet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, and, you and know. Last, last thing I'll talk about before Brian Mafina, and then we'll kind of move on so we can finish on time. But the um, kind of getting back to the basics and working your, your relationships, because uh, I hear like in New York, especially New York metro area, uh, we have cease and desist zones and, and the state of New York, when it's a state of emergency, there is no cold calling whatsoever. And people are like, when can I cold call? When can I cold call? Guess what? You could talk to your clients that exist that you have a relationship with. And they're like, oh, yeah. Or you could send a handwritten yeah. note card. Right. Handwritten note card. You could pop by. Or you could slide in the DM, the I am messenger. Golly. I mean, you know what? We, I think we we really need entrepreneurship training. And, and I say this because. I know that I didn't know when I came into the real estate industry, which is why I started earning designations and certifications. And my first full time year, I closed twelve million dollars in volume. We have to accept the fact that we don't know. And at the moment you admit that to yourself, then you start seeking solutions to your problems. Mm -hmm. So what, yeah, what sessions what sessions did you guys attend? Let's break that down. Some kind of a quick recap of, of what we what we attended and what we loved. Well, before Marky goes, um, let me let me say the hall talk, because when we um, got off of our newscast yesterday, I before even the sessions, I jumped into a hall talk because I figured, you know what, we're going to do this networking thing. Let me just jump in. And there were only four of us. And I'm like, this is not the hall talk when we go to an actual convention. Right. So if you have signed up for the conference, check out the hall talk. I have two new uh, people that I'm networking with, uh, Moses. Um, Moses. We have people. Surround. He was yeah. from. Yeah, he was from. Uh, he's New from New York, right? Yep. So nice I, president. you know, just <clears throat> see. Look. So then there's already connection. So um, we were talking about the committees we serve on. We were talking about how we volunteer, um, and we got to know each other because it was a small group. Now I really wanted to be a larger group, but everyone should check out the hall talk. So if you're trying to network, you're trying to build that local network that uh, referral business mm -hmm. go to the hall talk well i got to go see and i actually had him on my podcast last year is it antoine or antoine antoine dupont parlez-vous francais comment and yeah. uh i attended his youtube session only because none of my youtube channels performed the way that i wanted them to perform and let me say this even though i had one hour of his undivided attention last year i still learned something new from him in uh his session yesterday so first thing it is not about the subscribers it is about you understanding who your audience is 
what do they want and what do they like? But what he stated was that we have to, in every last one of our YouTube videos, we have to give them the pop. The pop is we present the problem, the outcomes, and the promise. And so going to his class, I was able to take some notes. Definitely, I knew that I wanted to update and come back to this. When you attend these sessions, think about where you want to be next year. Attend sessions that are in alignment with your 2021 business goals to help you complete those goals. So sometimes we just attend any random session. I want you to think about your business plan and for the next two days, attend sessions that will enable you to accomplish those goals. That was yeah, I like it that. I'll, I'll I'll tell you that YouTube, I, ju I was jumping in and out, but when I, the, 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 the challenging thing was, is I was like, oh my gosh, one more thing. So I do, I like the idea of hiring someone, but you got to look at your analytics and find out what people are actually. So yes, going back to what do, who's your audience and what are they watching and what's that pop? The data really does make a difference in, in looking to see what people are actually watching. Marky, did you find it interesting that he said, um, Two minute videos get more watches or more views, but then he said, but that it's different for everyone because that doesn't apply to me. Someone will watch me for 60 minutes. I thought it's different for everyone. Yeah. It is 100 percent And it and it's also are you engaging people? Have you built a relationship and a rapport? And then some people do things differently. Like for instance, my podcast get almost 30 minute listen time where I'm not getting that much on some videos. The more intense the video is, the longer people will watch it. Well, and here was my takeaway because this is what I struggle with when it comes to the YouTube. It's the thumbnails. He's like, you could have a great video. You could have, you know, the, the content's great. All of that is, is, is fantastic. But if your thumbnail sucks, right? They see that and they go, oh, I want to click on this. You're not going to get them. That's the first step. That's like curb appeal for a home, right? If that curb appeal is not great, they're not going to schedule the showing. They're not going to knock on the door to, 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 to look inside. And so that's, that's where I struggle. And that's where I got to look at, I got, I got to come to Jesus and say, I got to hire there's somebody. Some, there's to, some people that you can watch. Right. There's some really good people that talk well, about and, those and thumbnails. It's, when I talk to him about it, I'm like, man, come on, just give me the quick way. He's like, there's no quick way, Jade. It's hard work. I'm like, damn it. Okay. I guess I got to work, you know, and it's just another thing we got to work hard on. But he gave two great resources. So one was Fiverr. And Fiverr, then yeah. the guy who owns, uh, what was that, TubeBuddy, he has a company that will do your thumbnails for you as well. So if you're serious about it, yeah. we already know that scared money don't make money. And so you're going to have to put some money behind it. Definitely 2021, I want to build out a more robust YouTube channel because once we hit that 1,000 subscribers, we can monetize. So essentially, my goal is that it would pay for itself. Mm -hmm. So what else, uh, Carrie, what else did you attend that you thought was great yesterday? Um, <clears throat> I attended the Dominate Digital Marketing. Um, and here, the big concept, Marky just said it. We are in a, you know, many of us have been told we have to go home, right? Auntie Lori told some of us we need to stay in the house. <laughs> We've been, um, we are... <laughs> All of my Illinois folks just know what that meant. Um, <laughs> like, sounds like my auntie. I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, it's the mayor of the city. The mayor of Chicago. <laughs> I don't know. Like, so sounds like know, my auntie. When sure. someone says, Auntie Lori said, girl, don't go outside. Um, we have to start creating content. So I, this is what I would say. If you missed Dominate Digital Marketing, go watch the replay. Then... To tie that in, go jump over to the session that Marky was in. She was on a panel, Business in Transition, Excellent. Topics and Trends for 2021. I, I didn't like the title, but I knew Marky was in it. Right. And Marky, Marky she drew she me to that one. Yeah. Show us, Mar I'm just going to let Marky talk about it. Marky ha is hoarding um, screen wipes. <laughs> she talked about um, people don't if, if, get right. They, they, they need to see you and they need to hear you and you need to be creating content every single day. And Marky might even have a challenge coming up on creating video every single day and building content that people want to watch. So as hard as it is, you got to start. You have to start. So go back and watch those two sessions. I like the idea that we can go back. So those two. Yeah. And that's a great point. Like if you're watching this and you're trying to tell your, your, your people in the office or your colleagues, you know, at your local real estate board, it's like, 
register now because you can still go back and watch any of these for the next 30 days because you pick up so much more on the replay. And then when people talk fast like me, you can just always rewind, watch it again, rewind, watch it again, take more notes. Uh, yeah, make things happen. You know what? Because we have uh, an audience that might not be attending, I this morning it hit me. Shame on any managing broker who did not buy at least one seat to stream this all day in their office. Mm -hmm. Because there is no reason. One, it's going to be the best caliber of training from people who do this for a living. Next thing is they would have to spend a lot of money to bring these people in individually. So for whatever the cost of the registration was, they could have streamed this during lunch, during office sales meetings, like today, Tuesday, people are still having office sales meetings. They could, there were so many creative ways because it's online that every managing broker with a couple of agents should have definitely bought at least one seat to attend this event. And I'm not saying that I didn't call my mother for the federal legislative and political forum and put her on speaker so she could listen because <laughs> she's the uh, political junkie. Yeah. And so, I'm going to say oh, I, I, uh, I attended Sabrina Lowry's session was also excellent. It was, I think it was at 1115, the socially ethical professionals. She talked about how to do social media, but how to be ethical, how to do it the right way. She had over 500 attendees at her session, which I think all the sessions are getting great attendance because they have it really streamlined and they have it kind of divided by, hey, if I'm residential, if I like technology, maybe there's one or only two sessions for me so that I can really just key right in and, and, and watch and get what I'm looking for. So what did you take away from her session? What was well, your key takeaway? You know, just she talked a lot about video bravado and, you know, kind of getting over yourself, but then also, you know, when you're on social media, like bring people up, the rising tide raises all boats, right? Rather than so often people are like, yo, I'm not Marky. I'm not helping her. She's my competition. It's like, no, uh, there's enough for everybody to eat. Right. We all eat at the same table. We all, you know, just like now some people might think we're competitors cause we're speakers, but we're collaborating instead and, and helping, helping to make each other better. There's and a video. You, Marky, Marky hears me tell her all the time. Thank you for bringing me well, along. <laughs> after, the, after the crabs in the barrel video, right? Um, me being born and raised in the restaurant business, my grandfather did not graduate from eighth grade, but he was a self made millionaire. He's been in business, or my family, since 1954. My grandfather taught me that Marky. Uh, competition is healthy for business. Share what you have because it'll always make you, it forces you to be better. And so had I not seen it from an uneducated man, maybe I would not have believed it. But right. if you go into any famous Dave's barbecue in this country, there's a picture of Lim's barbecue on every famous Dave's wall. We are a part of the decor. Hey there, hold up. Let me get something here. Wait, <laughs> There you go. You need to get that DJ air horn. Well, let's talk about today. What's what do they have to look forward to today, folks? We we, we got a lot of um want to kind of finish. I, here. I have sessions back to back, but I have two sessions today that are streaming live. One on video, one on you have a company now. I will talk about some of the designations and certifications in order to aid you. We also have a roundtable today. Uh, on Instagram stories, I believe it is. So I am in sessions, moderating, uh, teaching all day today. Uh, so I plan on sitting in this chair and until we go to lunch break, and then, uh, yeah, I'll, you catch me here, right what time here. Is your on networking roundtable. What time My is your networking roundtable round is at noon. 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 12, so all roundtables are noon. Yeah. Yeah. So and we don't, after this, depending on people's time frame, you have global networking which is exactly what it says, global networking. Definitely great to make those connections worldwide, especially if you're in a larger metro market where you have people making purchases from outside the US. Uh, you wanna get your yoga on, that's at nine o'clock central. I just might do that because I feel a little bit tight right now. And then don't miss the general session with Anthony Mackey. Like that's, I'm not gonna say that I might, that's, that's gonna be big talking about, yeah, that's gonna be good. Award-winning actor. And then you got a break and then we have what, what time was your other session marky uh my first session is this morning uh video strategy there you go sliding right up over oh my head. look at there, that there it is I right. video it. Strategy. I it. and then we do the round table and then i have an afternoon session on i think you have a company now what 
Yeah, I, I have a round I'm table as down. well at, at 12, 12. Is that when they are, Marky, or 1230? They're 12 o'clock, 12 to 12, 1230 yeah. Central so 12 Standard Time. So my, mine's going to be <clears throat> video content creation uh, ideas. And here's what I learned from yesterday. If you're going to come into the networking round tables, be ready to have your camera on. Be ready to contribute because it's it's a round table. We don't want to talk at you. We want to talk with you. And so uh, I know we ha I had Princess Princess Gonzalez was in my class. And that's how I was. Look at She came. She networked with me. Now she's top of mind like this. First time attendee. That's called networking at its best, folks. Okay. And it's kind of weird when people are just there and, and you don't see them. Right. They're not contributing. It's You're taking creepy, up a right? <laughs> It's like you guys are just watching. You know, just come on, man. We want to see your face. We are extroverts, and I'm an extrovert with ADHD. I need to see people like this. I need to see you, okay? Like, please help me. <laughs> just turn your cameras on. <laughs> and attend the fun event. So yesterday we went to bingo. We went to the battle of the DJ. We were dancing all night. So it was educational. However, we did have fun. And they actually, in the closing uh, or the wrap up yesterday, they stated the fact of why they had the magician, why we had bingo, why we had DJ, because you want people to laugh and break it up because you actually retain more information. And so definitely, I think we've retained some great information we're going to implement. We want you to implement because 2021 is going to be a unique year, but we plan on it being a year that changes everything for us because 20. 20 through us off a little bit. Yeah. And, and let me just add to the fun stuff because I'm a guy that like, look at, I can't sit still. You guys see me here. Like I'm standing and I can't sit still for like 30 seconds. I was here at my desk standing like this all day. And then I went to that DJ, uh, the D the battle of the DJs. I'm like in here going, yeah, by myself in the office folks. I'm like, yeah, go with you. I'm, I'm harding. I'm hitting the you know, putting in the chat and next, you know, it's five 30 Eastern standard time. I'm like, I got to go home and eat dinner. I forgot <laughs> what time it is. And that's how, you know, you know, really you're like, Oh, I just want to learn stuff. There's a balance, right? It, it's psychologically like you need to take that mental break, have some fun, interrupt that, that pattern, and then go back and learn some stuff. And I was in Lowe's trying to figure out how to get it to work <laughs> on my mobile device tech challenged on Twitch. But let me tell you, as soon as I got it, as soon as I got it to work, he was playing Brick House. Man, the thing that people are like, what is wrong with this Brick house? Oh, she's mighty, mighty. Just letting it all hang out. Well, yeah, she is, because she is not wearing a bra. Wearing a bra. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. She said it. Oh, wait, wait, before we, um, before the people we go, maybe they're going to go to the global, the global networking. But let's let's yeah, we gotta draw. announce our winner. Let's announce our winner first. Let me get to the drum roll. Get to the drum roll. Oh, you got music, you Jim, got man. Real. I don't have to beat on a desk. We got real music. And the winner is Oh, there it is. <laughs> Latanya Martin, you are the lucky winner for the $25 Amazon gift card. Congratulations, you too can have this fun too by reposting and sharing what you're doing today. And really look at, this is what we wanna do. Latanya Martin, reach out to any one of us. We'll, we'll get you the Amazon gift card electronically. You can buy some goodies. Um, I would say wait till after, because uh, tomorrow I'm talking oh, about equipment for video. Send an email or send us, send us DM your email address yeah. and then yeah. we'll talk and we'll send it to you. We got yep. you. We'll get it to you. We but then we want everybody to take action today. So we want you to post content, things that you've learned, selfie of yourself, utilizing the hashtag good morning NAR. And then we're going to be back here tomorrow morning with a smile on our face to recap today and give you some tips and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So make sure use the hashtag good morning NAR on every bit of social media you might be posting. and and. You know, people are like, well, what should I post? It's as simple as video the screen or, or selfie yourself, just like Mark, he said, and say, hey, I believe in education because I care about my clients. I'm spending three days virtually to take my business to the next level. It demonstrates to clients, you know, that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and they could see that in you. All Let's right, guys, make it a great day. If you see us, yeah. say hey, say hey. Let's go. Go zoom, zoom. Go zoom, zoom. Yeah, let's go.
J Man. Oh. This one's called Slump Breaker. Because all we want to do is a zoom, zoom, folks. zoom. In, in a room, room. room. You know how it goes. You ready? Um. Tech baby tech baby one two three four tech baby tech baby one two three tech baby tech baby one two tech baby tech baby one slump breaker it's like sweeter than candy video skills are about to come in handy all across New York even down to West Virginia zooming open doors.